Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have a special treat this week. Uh, we were with Kenny from Moving Forward Adventures and we decided to compare our bikes. We both have e-bikes and we have a rally and he has an eco trike. So we wanted to do a quick comparison for those of you out there that are looking for e-bikes to kind of see what differences are out there. So let's get started. Okay, so we're socially distanced, but we want to talk about the differences between our two e-bikes since they're both good e-bikes, but they have slight differences. So we'll start with the name. This is a Rally Sprite. And this is made by a company called Ecotrike. And this one was a little bit expensive. It was $1,300. This one was just under $800. Okay. Mm. And so let's get into the differences. Well, the similarities, they're both seven speeds. Yeah. And uh, Kenny's display is a little different than mine, but our shifting mechanism is the same. Exactly the same. Um, he has fat tires. Those are 20, 20 inch, uh, four by four inch. So they're a the fat tire, 20 inches tall, four inches wide. And these are 26 inches and two inches wide. I think the major difference between the two, if you could tell by looking at them, is this is not a folding bike and Kenny's is a folding bike, which makes it really convenient for RV travel because you can store it in your storage bay. We have to have a bike rack or put them inside the RV. It also fits in the back of our hatchback uh, car. So when we are at a campground or something like that and we want to go to a nearby trail, it's easy. Uh, we can fit two bikes in the back of our hatchback. And the motors for these bikes are in different spots. So I'm back here in the rear wheel hub. And ours is where the pedals are. But mine's a 250 watt motor and, and Kenny's. This is a 500 watt. OK. But they're both 36 volt uh, power systems. Yes. And uh, speaking of power, this has disc brakes on the front and the back. Same. Okay. I so, believe. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like we have disc brakes on the front and the back. Um, our, the cranks on this bike are about a half inch or so. Easy. Longer yeah. than the ones on this bike. But again, I think that's part of the folding. Yeah. They're just trying part. to make it as small as possible when folding up. Um, Battery placement. Battery for mine is uh, right here under the seat. Oh, nice. And then you can take it out and you charge it up right into this port here. I like it that it doesn't have to be attached to the bike. Yours comes apart. Ours comes apart. It's the same thing. You have a key and you have to pull this off and the charging port is on the side as well. Um, this is only a 400 watt hour battery. So it gives us a couple of days of riding, I think, as long as we're not going fast. Yeah, I think I took this one on a 40 mile trip and that would be about as far as it could go. Oh. And that's with me being on low setting and me doing a lot of a lot of pedaling. I was trying to do as much as I could. So that's like the max range of this is, is definitely 40 miles on low. So it's probably this pretty close to what we would do because we would never do 40 miles in one day. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, on ours, it's only pedal to it's pedal assist. And there's an option for a throttle, but it's not standard on this bike. This did come with with the throttle. Although admittedly, I hardly ever use it. It's more of just a fun thing that you can kick some stones. <laughs> That's as much as I've ever used that throttle. <laughs> I take that back. When we were at Disney World, we were at, Disney, we tried it. at the end of the day at Disney, after walking all day, I would use the throttle to get me back to the campsite because I'm so tired. <laughs> and then uh, what else do we have? I, add to, I had to add lights to the front and back of mine. Same. Yep. I got a very similar light. It just snaps onto the 
handlebars, and then I added a light to the back. It did not come with any lights. Okay. Um, but you, you are able to read your speed. Yes, I do have a speedometer on mine. I have to hook up my phone with an app to tell distance, speed, and all those things. My, uh, I would say that I have a very simple control panel here. It's on, off, low, medium, high, and my battery charge, and that's all it tells me. And how fast does yours go? So mine, with the pedal assist, I can get up to 20 miles an hour. Throttle only is between 15 to 18, depending on terrain. Okay, and I think the fastest I've ever gotten this is 20. Okay. With the pedal assist, and all the way up to well, we can, you have, can you adjust the power settings on yours? Like I can adjust one through five. Not, I would say not really. It's more of a low, medium, high. So on low, it's 10 miles an hour. Medium is 15. High is 20. Okay. The, the, the real adjustment for me with power is definitely in the, the shifting. Shift. Yeah, if I'm going up or down. Hill. Yeah, so that's a difference with this one. And we have five speeds. Well, you can have zero and then one through five. And if you have it on five, and you're geared up pretty high, that's when you get the maximum speed. And then if you turn your power off, so you, you can turn it to zero and then you just pedal, it's all, it's all, you. all yeah, okay. push power. That's how this is as well. People ask, uh, one of the uh, popular question I get is, with the power off, being that the bike is a smaller crank and bigger tires, can I pedal it myself? The answer is yes, just not uphill. Um, I would say during just flat surface, and uh, because these bikes are pretty heavy, so this is between 52 to 56 pounds. Yep, ours is 54. Yeah, so it, it does make a difference when you're without the power, but you can do it. <laughs> and then um, this one, it came with a rack built on the back, and that one has a rack option. Yeah, it, it's prepped for it, but it did not come with it. Uh, what I like about yours is that yours is actually welded into place and mine would just be folded on so i don't believe that this would have the same type of cargo capacity as yours would being a, a solid weld and what's your overall happiness with the bike? oh it's fine overall happiness this has not disappointed me in any way possible i feel like a kid again i'm able to ride further see more with it um and it it, it, does, it does everything i was expecting it to do when i fold it up like you said i can put it in the back of the rv and i don't have to worry about people seeing what I have, which I like. And you haven't had any issues with the motor or anything like that? No, I got over, so I stopped counting at 1,500 miles. And I, I don't even, it's over 2,000 miles now. And it runs just as well as it did before, pedals, all that stuff, shifting and things like that. I do have to adjust every once in a while. If there is any battery degrade, which I'm sure there is, it's a minimum amount that I can't really tell just yet. And then how long does it take for your battery to charge? I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> and it is a few hours, but I don't, I, I think it's four hours. Oh, I think ours is closer to six. Oh, okay. We get the full charge on it if we take it down. And so we're really happy with ours too. Julie and I both have one. And I think Sabrina has one of those as well. She right? has the, uh, yeah, she liked mine so much that we went out and bought a second one for her to ride which is a pretty good uh, testimonial right there because she does not like bike riding <laughs> at all. But like I said, it's just, it's fun. You don't arrive to where you're going all sweaty. You're still getting a workout. Yeah. You know, I, I have a fitness watch and when I'm riding, I'm burning calories. It's yeah. not like I'm not doing anything at all. And you get to enjoy the scenery a little bit more without all the huffing and puffing. Yeah. We're really happy with ours as well. Like I said, um, it's, it's, been great when we've gone to like kenny said we were at disney world it's nice to ride around fort wilderness and not have to pay the money for the golf cart and there's places to lock up the bikes everywhere you go and also in tucson arizona there's miles and miles of bike trails that we really enjoyed riding on almost every night we would take the bikes out and ride on a different trail so we've been really happy with this one as well so it's a couple of options um kenny i think you were able to buy yours on amazon I actually bought it directly from the company. Oh, from Ecotrack. Right from Ecotrack, but they do okay. sell it on Amazon, but I would say that you get a better deal when you order from Ecotrack. Okay, and we got ours from a bike shop in Arizona. I think you can order them directly from Rally. I was looking on their website. The pricing's about the same. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, an easy way to get them. I think I just thought of something that I bet you there's a major difference between, or I'm just guessing there would be. So I am near the bike capacity of my weight at 220. That's all this bike is really rated for is 220. But I bet you, you being a solid frame and not 
needing to collapse your hire? I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea. So I'll if you're have to look. so if you're a bigger guy than me or gal, uh, keep in mind when you're looking at these folding bikes, 220 is about where they max out at it. If you're any heavier than that, okay. it might not be a, a suitable fit, and you you might have to go with the, the fixed frame. And I'll check the weight on this one and put it in the description below. I'm sure there is a weight limit. I just don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm guessing you're higher. Okay. All right, so I'll just do a quick demonstration of how it folds up. That is it. So now just for a wrap up so you can see what the differences are. So in the configuration, our, the Rally is a standard and the Ecotrike from Kenny is foldable. The tires, ours are 26 by two and his are 20 by four. They both have disc brakes on the front and rear tires. Uh, the battery on this is a 48 volt, 8.8 .8 amp hour, and his is a 36 volt, 12 amp hour. The weight, ours is around 54 pounds, and his is 56 pounds with the battery. With the uh, throttle, ours is pedal assist only, and it has the option to add the throttle um, as an extra or an add-on and the Ecotrike has the pedal assist and the on-demand throttle already on the bike. Uh, accessories, we have a rear rack and his has the mount for the rear rack. Uh, the weight capacity, I could not find a weight capacity on this but for the Ecotrike it's listed at 200 pounds. Max speed with the pedal assist. So um, with the pedal assist, it will only assist you up to 20 miles per hour for both bikes. But if you want to pedal faster, you can, it just won't give you any assistance. And then the price for the new models of these bikes, the new model for the Rally is $18.99 and the new model of the Ecotrike is $840. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some thought about which e-bike is better for you. And until we see you on the road, safe travels.